Hello everybody and welcome to Tom's Push Out Lives and today we're going to for the search of a better place to fish than what I've been going to. So let's get on the bike and see what we can find. Now today we're out uh, on a mission to find a better fishing place because the one that I've been fishing at I'm not catching a lot and I'm losing a lot of tattle in that weed no matter how I try to keep out of it I always end up losing a, a few oops and floats because even if you cast out of the reeds the line sometimes goes in the reeds and when you're reeling back in of course the hook gets dragged over the weed the hook gets into the weed and there's no way of reaching out and getting it and today you might feel a bit of precipitation is the word it isn't raining because it's not wet but it's not dry either it's like a drizzle a drizzle rain that sort that gets you wet anyway let's pick up a bit of speed now in search of a place to go fishing Well over there is the place where I usually go fishing. So now I'm on the opposite side of the canal, which by the way is the Leeds and Liverpool Canal, but the Lee branch. This is the Lee branch of it. So we're heading towards Lee now. As you can see there's other cyclists on the road today but there's still plenty of room Right, so this doesn't seem a bad spot does it? And I'll bring my fishing tackle along here and actually see oh, just then a big fish topping there So this could be a place to come. Now it looks like a purpose made uh, fishing peg that somebody's made at one time or other. So it's surprising not to see any um, fishing paraphernalia there's a bit of there's a, um, a crisp packet there but usually you'd see empty tins of uh, you know beer cans and such like but there isn't so I found another little place here on the same pond or flash or lake whatever you want to call it which is a quite a nice little cutout that seems to be made by but not professional like the other one but there's a bit of a steep climb to get up to the banking off the track but it's worth a try nice and quiet I'm going along by the railway lines now. This looks another really good spot. I 
quite a few good looking places it's rich in uh, flying buzzards so this place is full of good natural places uh, to come fishing so no doubt one day I'm going to bring my fishing tackle down here but I'm going to get better dressed for the occasion because I've not been out so long I'm bitten all over my ankles so my well, yeah, I'm good stuff me you know I mean I'm pretty tasty stuff so that's what probably why so this looks like a place I've got more activity with fishermen you can tell that by the beer cans Obviously fishermen like to catch fish, so where the beer cans is, I would think. Anyway, we will just place to keep in mind. Lots of nettles here. Have to be careful with this. Ouch. Okay, so that's enough of off-roading for today. We'll get back on the roads now. Alright, back on the road acting like a sensible cyclist, motorist, obeying all the laws of the highway code keep on the right side of the road and signals, manoeuvres, all that it's just motoring, it's a slow pace, that's all it is anyway, after a few near misses I decided it's, it's a bit you're better off on the pavement much safer Bickershaw, the venue of a once famous pop festival. And this was the Queen's pub. And like most of the pubs today, it's shut down. But it used to have a fishing, um, not quite a lodge, a lake, a pond. But we're going to go down now. It's down there and have a look at it. It's on the gate here, let's have a look what it says. Speed limit, 5 miles an hour, failure to adhere will do further damage to the road. OK then, I will adhere. Bickershaw Labour Club, private fishing. Season tickets £20, old age pensioners £10, juniors £10, day tickets £3. Right, so it'd be worth me getting a, a, a season ticket. Let's go and have a look at it. I'll go back on the road again now, it's a bit quieter on this road. I just had a word with a fisherman over at that lake and he said it's quite good, normally has a few big fish out of it, so it might be worth a tenner. 
So this lane is down to a place called Fan Lodge. I have a member here but I haven't been for a while so I'll just nip down here and have a word with the anglers if there's any here. This is Fan Lodge. It's quite a big place, there's 30 odd pegs, but there's not many fishermen here, so that tells you a story, doesn't it? Victoria Fields, and these are what you'll see uh, as you wander around in the woods. Fox, rabbits, deer, no birds, so we're safe here. This is at Bickershaw, by the way, to Pike Road in there. Green's Road, Bickershaw. We are here. So that's another ride for another day. So we're going back along the road now. It, this, leaves, this leads us back to the Yellow Brick Road. Onto the canal. Gives us back the freedom of the canal path. No traffic lights, no queues, just fishermen, dogs, other cyclists, pedestrians, etc. etc. So that was a very interesting ride, wasn't it? We went all over uh, Bickershaw, uh, on towards Inlay and on the Lee Way of Wigan. So, next trip is we'll go fishing. Take our fishing tattle there and we'll see if we can catch any fish. Let's get the tattle out, shall we?